What is up, crew? It's your boy, the RPG Prodigy, back again with another episode of Let's Play Fairy Fencer F Advent Dark Force. Now, in the last episode, we were in the subterranean ruins, and we got our butts saved by Eren, as we were being attacked by a member of Dwarfa. Turns out, Eren is an incarnation of the, go um, of the goddess. Go figure. Feels like this was to be expected, but at the same time, unexpected. But ending last episode, we met Apollonius' little sister. Man, that hit me hard. So what they, it's like what they say, man. When you slice someone down, you collect all their problems and sins on the way back up. Now their sister is actually hunting down the killer of our brother, which is me, to Avenger. Anyway, I didn't really do much. Didn't really do any grinding since last episode. So everyone's pretty much the same. So let's continue the main story. I'm back. Good timing. We're heading out, Fang. Getting out? Where? To the Kavari Desert. According to Aaron's memories, that is where the Faith Drop can be found. Once we have the Faith Drop, we can finally revive the Goddess. What? Is that true? Yeah. We need to beat Dorfa to the punch before they can react and revive the Goddess. How does that sound, Fang? Yeah, sure, I guess. Fang, my boy. Did something happen? Your face looks rather pale. It's nothing. I'm just in a bad mood from being saddled with grocery shopping. The sooner we leave, the sooner we'll get this finished. Let's hurry up and go, guys. Julian? My nails are chipped from the battles we have fought, so I'm giving myself a manicure. I know you are worried about me, but this is nothing. I just need to keep doing my best and everything will be all right. Please lend me your strength too, Kiwi. Okay, we went from voice to unvoiced real quick. All right. <sighs> my Goldenkins hasn't been acting like himself lately. He's always going out on his own and he's not eating as much as he used to I wonder if he's fallen in love with someone you seem unhappy are you jealous of course not but that boy is reckless impulsive and rushes into things without thinking basically he's stupid precisely I worry constantly about some manipulative Je um, Jezebel toying with his heart you're a little overprotective. I can't help it. Aren't you all worried about your partners falling in love one day? Huh? Pippin falling in love? You know, I've never actually thought about that. I'm pretty sure you won't ever need to think about that. Sorry, I'm pretty sure you won't ever need to think about that. Facts! I really want Harley to meet a dependable man someday. You just want her to meet someone you can split your chores with, don't you? That's also true. What about you, Aaron? Shoot, I was trying to avoid calling someone, uh, calling attention to myself. So, what do you think? L like, like I care about um, if Fang falls in love with someone. Did your voice just crack? Hey, what's going on in here? What are you guys standing around here for? I hear you've been going out by yourself a lot lately. Where have you been going? Don't be so direct. I haven't mentally prepared myself yet. Oh. I've been going to this new dinner um, diner. They've got this um, set meal that with huge portions. But they only serve it 30 times a day. Set meal you've been wandering off to go eat that damn right eh i barely ate the um, the whole day so i could stuff my face later people were so impressed that that they started crying man that was so delicious this is the textbook example of misplaced priorities all i can really say is it should i should have known mm-hmm all right see if we got any more talks yeah we do Morning, everyone. Huh? There's nobody here. Strange. Guess I'll go for a walk. 
looking around town. It's actually kind of boring. There really isn't anything interesting here. Huh? That's... Hey, Sherman! Well, what a coincidence. Are you out doing some shopping as well? Nah, I was just bored, so I decided to walk around. I see. Then please forgive me, but a sale is ending soon, so I must be going. Uh, okay. So you care that much about discounts, huh? Hey, you there. You're dressed like a fancy lad, aren't you? You think so? These are just normal clothes. I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to Fancy Boy over there. I don't, I don't know what rich family you're a part of, but you ain't hurting for money, are ya? You don't, why don't you donate something to the less fortunate? You waste your time here. You'd better let off, you better off just letting us go. Hold on, hold on. You don't gotta be scared. Come on now. What the hell? Don't you ever lay your filthy hands on me. It's scum like you that took my sister from me. Hey, come on. That's enough. Let's get out of here. Don't you think you went a little too far with those two a bit, uh, bit, bit, sorry, two bit thugs? You're right. I'll be more careful from now on. I've noticed before, you kind of clean. You're kind of a clean freak, and you get really mean with jerks like that. And you mentioned your sister just now. Do you want to maybe talk about it? I once had an older sister named Iris. Really? Flashback time. She was so beautiful and so kind, but she was frail, and she almost never went outside. She was so innocent. She thought the outside world was filled with beauty. My sister was completely pure, and of course I loved her. So I lied to her about the world. What did you do today, Sherman? Please tell me everything. Well, I went to the ocean with my friends. A passing traveler gave us a ride in his carriage, so we had plenty of time to have fun. I caught a ride on the back of a dolphin, who took me to a distant land. That sounds wonderful. I hope I can get better soon so I can go swimming with the dolphins. But isn't it dangerous to accept rides from strangers? My books always talk about all kinds of terrifying kidnappings. Oh, none of that is true. The world is full of kind people and lovely nature. Yeah, you see right there? Don't lie to her. My trip to the ocean was a complete lie, of course. I always made up stories I thought would make her happy. I just wanted the world that my sister lived in to be beautiful and perfect. But one day, she just disappeared. She had run off with a man who came to our house often. We searched everywhere, but Iris was nowhere to be found. A few years later, I became a fencer. By then, I had all but given up on my sister. But suddenly, I was reunited with her in the most unexpected of places. I had been asked to clear out a bandit's den near a busy mountain pass. So you must be the bandits I've heard so much about. I apologize, I must ask all of you to vacate the area. Sherman? I is that you? That voice. Iris? I never thought we'd meet in a place like this. Mm. This world is just wonderful as you told me. Wonderful enough to choke on. Soon after she eloped, soon after she eloped, my sister was captured by a gang of bandits who forced her into servitude. Her body was always weak, but she must have grown stronger from being outside. Her face showed none of her old weakness. It had been replaced with a dark smile and sharp eyes. Don't look at me like that. I'm actually enjoying myself. So much fun watching people suffer and scream. So Sherman, how will you entertain me? I couldn't accept someone like that as my sister. So I... Farewell, sister. Maybe now you can return to the dream you had when you were home. 
for the rest of eternity. Man, he killed his own sister. That's that's some cold shit. Do you hate me now? I can't judge you one way or the other. Only you really understand the situation. But killing someone because of your own ego? That ego that rejects any and all evil might cure this world or poison it. For now, all I can do is watch from the sidelines. I get what Fang's, I get what Fang's saying. Alright. We got a lot of these. Warning, warning, emergency, emergency. Initiating combat protocols. Whoa, what the hell? A pestilent insect has appeared. Combat mode now commencing. Okay, leave the bug alone. Holy shit, you were gonna use full power on him. <sighs> you look tired. I have seen true terror. Mankind's real enemy, the cockroach. It was a formidable foe. But somehow I managed to defeat it. By stepping on it? <laughs> it seems Pippin has been taking a liking to you. He's looking forward to telling you more of his stories. Seriously? No thanks. Hmm. He seems serious, alright. Since we're allies, it would be nice if you could spare some time to listen to him. Very well, Soji. Fighting strong opponents has brought your weaknesses to light. That's why you have come to me for training, correct? Huh? Training? We don't need to do that. I'm plenty strong. There is no need to feel embarrassed. I commend your decision to study under me. No. He's not listening to me at all. Fang, do you have a second? I think my Galdikins is going through a rebellious phase. Really? He doesn't seem rebellious to me. That's because whenever someone something happens, he goes straight to you instead of me. He's clearly behaving rebelliously. Why? Because he's not giving you all his attention? Doubt! Jeez, what in the world was Sherman doing at such a crucial moment? Maybe he ran off somewhere, eh? I don't think he ran off. I can't put my finger on it, eh? But he seems suspicious. You see when Galo suspects somebody? You know something's up! What's up? You look tired. I'm too hungry to get excited about anything. Give me something to eat. Just deal with it. You should learn how to get excited on an empty stomach. When you do eat later, it will taste that much better. Okay. The power of the goddess. How amazing! There's so many things I want to ask Eren. Where is she? I don't know. Ah, she's the only one who can scratch my research itch. I have to do something. I need to see her right now. The research itch. Fang? What's up? You look bummed out about something. To be honest? No, it's nothing. Please forget about this. Hmm. <sighs> I'm glad my memories are returning, but I'm starting to get worried what's going to happen to me. Don't worry about it. Things will be fine as long as Fang the Fearsome is around. I'm the man who cuts through fate. <laughs> You're right. When I'm with you, all my worries just seem to float away. And another flag has been risen. Alright, to the fun we go! Man, how much longer are they going to make us wait? Why do women take their sweet ass time shopping? It's proper etiquette for a woman to take their time shopping. And it's proper etiquette for gentlemen to accompany them and wait patiently. Yeah. I don't care if I go my whole life without being called a gentleman. You must understand. It's not that you have no interest in being a gentleman. You're just incapable of being one. Damn! What did you say? I could totally be a gentleman. Just, I just don't wanna. If I put my mind to it, I could totally master the art of being a gentleman. You can't just master the art of being a gentleman. Every gentleman knows that. Facts. Gentlemen are born so, not create, not they don't grow through experience. 
There are those who just have a knack for it, and then those who just don't. The calm attitude of yours really pisses me off. So tell me, you got any weaknesses at all? Straight to the point. I really respect that lack of subtlety. It's not my style to beat around the bush. So what are your weaknesses? Tell me, right now. And what do you plan to do with such information? Tell the ladies, of course. They get all the hot and they get all hot and bothered about you. I'm gonna tell them the truth so they'll wake up from their fantasies. Unfortunately, I have no weaknesses for you to exploit. If anything, a woman's tears could be considered my only weakness. You're such a conceited bastard. I'll let it slide this once. <laughs> you better watch yourself. I'll find out what your real weakness is one day on one of these days. <laughs> Do whatever you like. Though I might be but it might be in your best interest to fix your own flaws rather than look for weaknesses in others that don't exist. Facts. <laughs> that took a really long time. We don't get much of a chance to shop. It only makes sense that we would take so much time. Huh? Check it out! Lord Sherman and Fang are smiling at each other. You're right. That is a rare sight. They must be bonding while we were wait, wait, um, while they were waiting for us. Friendship is magic, as they say. Yeah, sure. We were bonding. That's exactly what we were doing. You got any quests for me, my boy? Yeah, we do. What you gotta say to me, Galamero? Galamero. Are you heading to Caviera Desert? It's a small desert just west of here. Despite its size, it's still a desert. Don't let your guard down and make sure you bring plenty of water. Always out here with advice. Now to feed my addiction. <laughs> Again, I will say this to you people. I can stop if I want to. Huh, it didn't give me elixir cost that much. Wow, I didn't think all this stuff cost that much. I'm just checking to see if there are actually items like- Whoa, holy shit. I have so many flying stones. Uh, there you go. There's so many rece uh, recipes I don't know. Bugs me a lot, it really does. Wait, does she have any new- Okay, she doesn't have any dialogue. Alright, we're off, crew. To the next area! But first, you're inking out my furies. Where is it? Okay, it's over here. Yay! To the desert! What's the deal with this place, eh? There's nothing here. There's not but an ocean of sand as far as the eye can see. Hmm. I have no idea how we're supposed to find the Faith Drop. Aaron, are you sure the Faith Drop is here? I think so. I think so? I thought you got your memories back. I did, but... Do you remember every little detail about where you were and what you were doing one year ago today? One year ago today? Uh... Man, there's no way I'd remember something like that. Right? It's the same principle here. I feel like this is somewhat different. Yoink! How interesting. Despite her connection to the goddess, she's as prone to unclear memories as anyone else's. I am beginning to worry if this faith drop can even be found here. It's going to be fine. Somehow, I can sense that it's here. What do you mean, somehow? Now, now, just remain calm. You mustn't cast doubt on something you once trusted. We're all friends, aren't we? Let's trust Eren's memories and instincts. I don't like the idea of Pippin being the sensible one, but he's not wrong. Getting discouraged won't help us find anything. You're right. We should trust Eren and keep moving forward. Please, Eren. 
lead the way. Just leave it to me. Follow me, you guys. All right, we got some recolors and some old colors. All right, give me a moment, crew. I will be back. All right, crew, I am back. As you can see, we got a bunch of semi sames All right, I'm back. Both Tiara and Harley leveled up from that. According to you guys, I can dash, which helps me get away from creeps. Thank you for reminding me of that. I can now... Hmm? That is... Okay, guess I just can't go up there. Rude. Alright, I'm back again. Hold on, let me type. Okay, it's over here. There be the cutscene. Let's go! thing I've never seen a creature like this before it's not even documented in my monster nomicon it's a guardian seed it's tasked with protecting the faith drop how do you know that is that one of the goddesses memories probably the faith drops protector eh <laughs> he looks like fun let me at him wait I'll handle this Mary. calm yourself protector of the faith drop the goddess has finally returned! Hmm, she certainly looks the part. You're like a bona fide goddess. Ah! Are you serious? It attacked me? You are so useless! It seems our only option is to overcome this creature by force. Let's do it, Eren! Out of my way! Remember, kids, don't expect anything from Aaron. Let's do this. My turn. See how much damage I can do. I won't let you escape. Take this. Additionally, I love the fact that Tiara said that Aaron is useless, though she hasn't really done. Though Tiara herself hasn't really done much. Executing Gaia Spear. She's not the one guiding us to the faith drop. Heck, she wouldn't even know it's there. So you just have to think. Aaron's actually doing something. Some damage. But don't you guys see Shadow Crusher or well, Soul Crusher? You ain't ready for this. Oh. Keep going. I'm ready. Disappear. So over. You go. You deserve it. Wow, that EXP. Holy shit. I'm feeling buff. My power has increased. Sweet. Sweet. Aaron, any leads on that faith drop yet? Actually, I can sense its presence, but it's still not clear where it is. Pull yourself together. You're the only one we can rely on. 
I know! You don't have to shout at me! Fang, cut down any guardian seeds we come across and keep going. I have a feeling that the faith drop is just beyond here. What? Why do you say that? I see. These creatures are protecting the faith drop. That means if we follow them, they'll lead us right to it. I see. All right, I got it. Let's keep charging ahead. Okay, I'm back, and that was rude. That monster was rude. me with that I guess we go this way miss me with all that hmm oh over there I'm gonna cut it, crew. Then in the next episode, we're gonna continue on and you know, finish up this little swade to get the fair drop. Thank you all for joining me once again. It's been your boy, the RPG Prodigy. Like, comment, subscribe for more content, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace. <laughs>